Hi guys and welcome along to my YouTube channel. In this video today I'm going to show you how to flash a stock ROM from a custom ROM. Um, we're going to be using three files, well four really, um, a PDA, a modem, a CSC and a PIT file. Now I'm in the UK so I'm going to flash JVT. The first thing you want to do is go to sammobile.com and register with them it takes minutes so literally to do that then once you've registered you want to click for firmware now this is for the Galaxy i9000 um, and you can see that there's not um, firmware in there that we, that we want so in the search bar just type in i9000 below will come up all the all the ROMs um, from Samsung that you can flash your phone with. So if you look for the ROM that you require, all the countries are in here now. Um, so you'll just need to basically scroll down until you until you find the the firmware for the country that suits you best. I'm in the UK so I'll download JVT which is that fairly right there. Okay, I'm not going to download it right now because I've already done so. So if you just click download anyway, it will take you through the process. Just click regular download and away you go. Once you've downloaded it, um, if you put it somewhere on your, on your computer that you can find it quite easily, I've put the downloaded file on my desktop just here. You can see it there. I'll move it over here actually. Okay. Um, once you've done that, what I tend to do is create a new folder and um, name it with the firmware that I'm going to put in it. So if I create a new folder and, and just call it JVT. Okay. So what you want to do is extract all that. Um, firmware into the folder. It comes down as a RAR file in most cases. So if you've got either 7-zip or WinRAR you can extract it. So I'm just extracting it there with WinRAR. And as you can see there everything's extracted. What, what else you'll need is a tool called Odin. Um, I'm going to use Odin version 1.83 um, in this video. So, once you've downloaded all the firmware that you require onto your PC and you've got Odin, you're just about ready to go. The next thing you want to do is um, remove your SD card, your internal, S uh, your external SD card, and back up any information that you wish to keep, like your contacts, um, text messages, and all that crap. Um, at the moment this device is running CyanogenMod Mod 7 um, but I'm on the Kang version I'm running the latest Kang at the moment I don't know if you can see that there but that's CM7 ok brilliant ROM if you haven't tried it try it it's absolutely fantastic so anyway the first thing you want to do now is just power your phone off take a minute or so. Once it powers off um, we'll remove the external SD card and I'm going to remove my SIM card as well just to stop anybody try to phone which I doubt they will at this time of night. That's a SIM card out, put that to the side and eject your SD card. What I tend to do here is boot up into the recovery menu, which is volume up, power, and home all at the same time. Let go once it flashes up like that. Um, after a few seconds it will pop into recovery. 
what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to clear the the phone the phone's memory so to speak. So I'm going to wipe data factory reset and accept that. Basically what will happen there is it'll just wipe all the the CM7 settings off it. Um, you can also go one step further and um, format the SD card so that it's going to be totally, totally and utterly blank. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm not going to bother because I've backed up my CM7 ROM with uh, Clockwork Recovery. So once this is finished, I can flash my ROM back to how it was before I started this. Once you've done that, what you want to do is put the phone into download mode. So if you power it off, then once it's powered off, we're going to press volume down this time, followed by the home and the power button all at the same time, and your phone will go into download mode. Next, what you want to do is open up Odin. We'll go back up here. We'll open up Odin. And we'll connect our um, phone to the PC using the USB lead. Once your phone connects to your PC, the COM port on Odin will turn yellow. We'll get in a little bit closer there so you can see it. Now, what you want to do is click on the you can start and you can put the files in any order you want as long as the correct files go in the correct boxes. So I'm just going to start at the top and and then work my way down. So I'm going to start clicking on the pip and I'm going to navigate to the folder where I downloaded the the, the, the ROM to which is my desktop and I created another folder called JVT. In the pit file, in the pit box, you select the pit and open that. Now with Odin version 1.83, as soon as you put a pit file in here, check repartition will automatically, the tick will automatically go in repartition. Okay? Um, double check it if you're not using um, Odin 1.83 and um, if you're using an older version like Odin 1.3 manually check it. Um, next the PDA we're not going to bother with the bootloader but the PDA we'll click that and in here we want to check we want to um, select code and ok that and for phone we're looking for modem, okay that, and finally CSC, I'm going to choose the multi CSC. Now that's all the files that we require in the Odin, our phone's connected to it, so what we'll do now is we'll stick that there, bring this down, move this down, this way you'll be able to see it all happen. Once everything's ready, click start. What will happen now is Odin will dump all the files onto the phone. And once the phone starts to communicate with Odin, you'll see it starting. You'll see a blue bar along the bottom here and it will steadily um, grow in size until it's flashed. And this process will take a few minutes, so while it's doing so, it's um, a good idea to take the dog a walk, make a cup of tea, um, just whatever. So like I say, once that's flashed, you'll be ready to go. But this process will take about five minutes or so, so instead of sitting watching all this happen, um, We'll just pause here and we'll come back once it's finally 
done its thing. Right, as you can see there, um, this Odin's starting to load up. I've had to plug my USB lead into another port because for some reason um, it wouldn't flash. So, like I say, I've just popped it into another port. And that's the phone starting to load up there. You'll see this blue bar steadily get bigger. Okay, so I'll just lay this back down here and we'll come back again once it's flashed up. Right, that's that almost done. You can see there it's just about loaded up. Once it's loaded up, um, it'll flash blue, say reset, and then I think it's green. And that means pass. There you are, reset and pass. There we go. So what will happen now is um, your phone will start loading up the, the new files and um, that will be it back onto, onto stock. So once it loads up, what we'll do is we'll do another factory data reset just to um, clear out the, the remains of the previous ROM and after that you're good to go, you're back on stock. first boot up uh, might be slow, but this is perfectly normal um, and it will steadily get faster. Okay well that hasn't really, it's not really taken that long. I mean I've done all that in under 10 minutes. I'm obviously um, going slower for the purpose of the demonstration but um, once you've done it once or twice it literally just takes minutes right, what we'll do is we'll come back once that's loaded up right there we go after a minute or so that's how your phone will look Exactly the same as when you first got it. So we'll just skip all that crap. Okay. And there you have it. Once you're loaded back up again, I would um, recommend doing a factory data reset. Um, it just means you need to select your language and input all your settings, you know. So if you power it off, wait for the vibration, and um, once it vibrates, just go back into recovery and do a final factory data reset. And by doing so, this will just... Um, it will ensure that you, that you should have a trouble free installation, that's the vibration there. Volume up, home, power, let go once the logo starts coming up. I'll go back into free e recovery, toggle down to wipe data, factory reset, select that, just say yes, delete all user data. And there you go, the reboot system now. So that's basically how you flash a, a stock ROM straight over the top of a, of a custom ROM. Um, if you are putting your phone in for warranty work I would recommend formatting the SD card as well. Just so that all the, all the remains of the previous ROM are totally gone. Um, <clears throat> also once you do this your super user will be gone and if you want to root your phone again um, what you'll need to do is download a root tool uh, well a kernel you can get them from XDA developer developers and flash that through as well and the process of rooting it is simple in fact what we'll do is we'll reroute it 
here and there while we're here. Okay. <coughs> now I'll put a link up on the on the video description on where to get your your root tool. But I've already I've already got a root tool for this, so I'll reset that. PDA um, navigate to the folder where you download your your um, your kernel that you're going to flash that you're rooting. Um, mine is in desktop. Galaxy tools. Firmware. IBT, there we go. I tend to bundle up all my packages together. Um, as you can see, it's asking you for the language again, but you're not going to bother with that. It's going to power it off. Let that power off, and I'll dig out my USB cable again. Now, remember, if you are flat, if you are going to to root it, use the correct um, root file for it. So you want to go straight back into download mode, which is volume down, home, power, all at the same time. Little yellow Android man will pop up. Plug your USB in. Your COM port will turn yellow. Start. Now this flash will be very fast. There you go. And um, that's it rooted. We'll let the phone boot back up. And once it boots up, um, you'll see that the super user icon's there. When you flash that um, root kernel on it, it loses the uh, Loses a little startup song or tune or what have you, but I don't bother with that. It's crap anyway. Quickly whiz through all this. Let it boot up. We can take this out now. There's no need for the cable to be in. If we go into our application drawer, you should see. A super user just there. And um, from there you can instantly go straight back on to a, a custom ROM again. So I hope this video has helped you out and once again um, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.